Welcome to the Kaniwawa 127mm crank installation video. The first thing you need to do to install the cranks is identify which one is right hand and which one is left hand side. So it is easy. The right hand side you will see these grooves. The left hand side has no grooves. Okay. Also for the pedals you can see right here on this corner it says R for right and here it says L for left. Before you install the pedals, since one crank is wider than the other, we need to fix the spindle position correctly so that we have enough gap on each side and it won't rub against the hanger. So first of all, you need to have these collars to be loose and then we're going to install the cranks. So now we're going to install the right hand side. Remember to get the crank that has grooves on it. So you put it on the spindle, then you get the flat washer, then you get the nut and put on some 242 medium strength blue color Loctite. You put some in, not too much. Then you just use the socket to put the, the nut in manually until it stops. Okay, then you get your ratchet. And you tighten it strong. And okay, wipe off the excess Loctite. And you're ready on this side. Okay, now we're going to install the crank on the other side. Make sure it's offset 180 degrees with the other crank. You put it on the spindle, same procedure. Take the flat washer, take the black colored nut, which is the left hand side, put on some Loctite, get the socket. Just remember this is a left hand thread, so it will screw in counterclockwise once it's all the way in you just start putting in manually once you finish fixing the cranks you need to check that there is a gap between the crank and the hanger so that the crank won't rub against the hanger so then you can just pull it with your hand until you have a gap here and a gap on the other side. If you see there's no gap, you can just fix it a little bit until both sides have enough gap. If it's too tight, you can just use a rubber hammer and again, just pull it until you have a gap on both sides and you feel comfortable with the gap on both sides and when you're finished then you just fix the colors and that's it you're good to go once you are comfortable with the gaps you have on both sides you flush the color totally against the bearing and tighten it down this will help or this will avoid the spindle from moving. One side. Flush it all the way against the bearing and then start tightening. That's it, the, the spindle will move and you have a secure position. 